Hi, I'm Andrew Armstrong and welcome to the back office. I'm quite excited about this tool because it uh, it's something that I've really needed. I've been doing a lot of work recently on car stuff, canvas, because the new Booby Cortex board, of course, can talk car. And uh, the problem with that, of course, is sometimes you have a difficulty because you're doing something on the bench, you're trying to debug your whole uh, CAN bus tool and how can you uh, debug your CAN bus tool when your car is outside and you're sort of going back and forth, back and forth, change the code, go back and forth and it's starting to drive you absolutely nuts. So this apparently is something I found on eBay, a vendor was selling it and it is a CAN bus simulator and the idea behind this and it's obviously look it's a kind of a semi semi professional project it's, it looks like a kind of a, a bit of a tool that you would buy um, apparently it's called a Moby Dick and uh, the Moby Dick tool emulates several CAN buses um, of, of you know over the um, onboard diagnostic so it's basically an OBD2 emulator so if you look inside your car you'll see one of these connectors normally pointing that way underneath the dashboard and uh, that's the uh, connectors that this, this this little guy, this little fella, um, hooks up to. So then what you can do is you can plug in your uh, card reader. In fact, I do have some. Here we go. Here's one that here's one I dismantled earlier. And that plugs in like so. And then you would use your software on your phone, your smartphone or PC, and you'd talk to this. And this is basically pretending to be your car. So that is going to be immensely helpful to me because I spent a long time a heck of a long time trying to debug uh, a booby cortex and I've, I'm sort of reworking the PCBs and everything because as you know the booby cortex is quite a new board too so I'm kind of debugging the board as well as the hardware and uh, it turned out it was the cart wasn't the uh, board at all it was just a weird can implementation and uh, didn't work so you can see here though just while I'm here the um, owner did say that they did um, have to do a little bit of uh, work to it there's something wrong with the pot so clearly that pot's floating so I might have a, I don't know if the pot's broken or if it just is uh, lifted up that noise by the way you can hear in the background it's a bit of a fan noise that's my solder sucker I don't really use that too much so you probably wouldn't have heard that running that often but I do apologize in advance for it so I'm just seeing um, the pot there seems to be measuring one and a half K in that direction and almost nothing in the other direction. So let's see the uh, next pot along. Nothing in that direction. One and a half K. So pot seems all right. Just I don't know why it's hanging out, but that's fine. So we're just waiting for this thing, this tool. Say so the tool I don't really use that much to work, but it might be have some utility today this thing so what it is it's basically a combination of a soldering iron and a, a sucker so you pull the trigger and it sucks basically it's a big old solder sucker and uh, I'm just gonna try that yeah looks like it's uh, hot. while that's heating up there let's have another look at this board so we can see this is by o Ozen Ozen electronic and I believe they're in Turkey I think the chap said it was from Turkey CAN bus ECU simulator re revision 1.3 and look, I don't know what this is 29500 this could be the bus speed or something like that and I think this is a button that raises errors I think that might just raise random errors on the bus and these are adjusting different things so I don't know what this one is look ECT but rev per minute speed math air sensor oxygen sensor but ECT hmm not quite sure what that is doesn't matter. So now we're up to 400 degrees on our sucker. It means it should be getting near operating temperature for us. It is. So I'm just going to put that on the blob of solder there. And hit suck. Now what you might find if you're using this, I'm going to zoom in as well so you can have a good old look. And I'm just going to take that foot off. If you're using one of these, and it's, even if you're using a normal solder sucker, you might get this. Um, if it doesn't seem to suck, just apply some additional solder so you get a nice fresh ball on there let the flux from the new solder mingle with the old and it will give the, the sucker something to actually suck so let's try that again we're going to try that with this one at the top here we're going to try it here so I just wait for the solder to, to melt first because if you start sucking too soon it cools it down 
nice and warm. Bang. I'm just going to clean a bit on the top tier too. Added a bit, a bit too much, if anything. Right, so that's the kind of old solder done. Now, if you were doing this, you could probably pull out that um, watcher, I call it right now, but I'm not going to do that because I want to actually sol just solder it back down. So I'm just going to apply some solder on the top here because it did have a little bit. There we go. Crunch it all in. Nice work. So this is, I'm really pleased. I can't wait to try this out. And uh, I'm pretty sure it's gonna work, confident, because the vendor told me it was gonna work. But yeah, if you look on, online, you can get them and they can emulate different things. So this one's emulating uh, can the uh, onboard diagnostic CAN bus. But remember, there's lots of other standards, K-Line and SA, uh, SAE, blah, blah, blah. There's, there's so many, I'm not gonna go through them all. But, um, Basically, you can get one that emulates anything. So if you're doing a, an automotive project or you're an automotive product company, um, you might want one of these. So that's all some use to you. Please like, so share, subscribe, comment down below. And as ever, guys, do, 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 do. Thank you. Oh, let's have another look at that, by the way. Mm. Oh, no, he dropped it. Those are cute. Spare, a spare prom. Again, thank you for watching.